And it's only 500 meters, so this is yeah. going to be, well, this is as big as it gets, isn't it, really? Yeah, this is going to be a really entertaining, fast race. I believe everything's traditional. All the crews have two lefties and two righties. There's nothing insane going on, like the French C2 who had double righties for men and the women's Canadians who have double lefties for uh, canoe. Doesn't but, seem to affect them so that, but yes. Yeah. So the rules are you can do what you like. Yep, the rules are you can do what you like, but it's certainly easier to go the traditional one left, one right, one left, one right, but or the other way, but... As the German crew, they look pretty strong in their heat. They qualified directly, but there's some really, really big, fast crews here like Poland. Thomas Kasler stroking that boat. He's an incredibly fast paddler. The Italian crew is really, really strong. They've got the brothers in there, and they've got uh, the, both C2s are in that C4, so they should be very well in time. And then there's this Russian crew. They're probably the favorites. They're a big, strong, powerful crew. They're probably going to have a lower stroke rate, so over through this headwind, they might uh, have a little advantage on everyone. As Ukraine and Spain as well. Spain might take it out really fast off the start. We'll see what their race plan is. Um, although it's a pretty short race, there may not be that much of a <laughs> Five, race plan. 500 meters, the plan is to go out very fast and keep going. Yeah, there's the Hungarian crew. They had their C1-500 guy in there. He did very well. Um, and then all the way over in lane nine, we've got Belarus, but... They're a big, strong crew, but they're going to be having a lot more wind than everyone else. So we'll see what happens with them. Looks like we're about to get started here. So this is 500 meters, C4. Great overhead picks. We can actually see exactly the, the shifts of when they're starting to go. And you can see clearly from your picture, there's a bit more of a breeze on the, the left-hand side of the, the track coming down. It was a good shot of the Spanish crew. I predict they'll have a pretty pretty fast start in relation to the rest of them, but watch out for lane five, Russia. Well, they're all safely away. Really fast start by Romania over there in lane one. It looks like they're trying to take advantage of their little protected spot over there, but Germany is right with them, and they look like they've pushed out in front right now. Germany, well protected, like you say, by the weather, so yes. they certainly have the best start, but also lane number one. Romania look like they're, they're doing well. And Ukraine and Russia and Italy are starting to move up on the rest of the field, though, especially Ukraine. They've got a very fast stroke rate, as you can see from that overhead view right there. Right to the left of Russia, there's three boats. Yeah, it looks like Ukraine's taking uh, ahead right now. Russia's in second, but they've got a much lower stroke rate, so they may last a little longer. Germany's in third, I believe. And, but Italy's right there with Germany, as well as Belarus in lane nine, fighting the conditions and still making it happen here. That's a good shot, front angle of the Ukraine crew. They're really putting down a lot of power. They're very in time. They're using their hips, but the Russian crew's sitting right there. It looks like they're about to do a pickup. Russia just did a pickup. Here they go. They're going to start trying to move on Ukraine, and they are. They're pushing through. They're really connecting with their legs and their hips. You see how much motion they have with their hips. They're really pressing the boat forward. It's going to be a tight fight for third, it looks like, between Germany and Romania and Italy, but Russia is really taking it out on the field. Coming into the last 50 meters, as Ian's been saying, it is Russia at the moment. They've made their move with 150 meters to go. They've only got a few meters left, and Russia, extremely well planned victory. Second is going to be Ukraine. Oh, it's going to be very close for third. That's a big, strong crew right there. They had a, a very well-planned race right as well. They just kind of waited and stayed right in striking distance until the finish. So this is certainly a, a great event to watch. I wonder if, how much time they have to... Yeah, it's a very entertaining race. You could say the Ukrainian crew really took it out at the start, but Russia just waited and waited and waited until it was that last hundred, and then they took it out on the field. And third place. It looks like Italy, the two C2s that combined into the C4. But there's no doubt about first, first place. That was a really strong crew from Russia.
So here we go, the official results. Russia took it from Ukraine, took it from Italy. Germany just missed out for 900 of a second, the, the bronze medal. And Italy win his first medal in this World Championship so far. So the list of uh, the list is, is certainly uh, is picking up a bit. Now it's the K4 1000 meters. It's actually interesting because we're having a K4 500 and a K4 1000. Yeah, and um, it is the first race over 1000 meter in the K4 at this World Championships. That means. Um, the crews didn't have any heats, any semi-finals, and they're not used to to paddle on competition level in Portugal 2018. So it will be very interesting. We don't know who will be best, uh, who has the best semi-final because they just didn't have any. So uh, it will be a big surprising probably. Um, there's a Spanish crew, which is really, really great. But first, there is an injury, I guess, for the Russian C4 who just made the victory over 500 meter in the C4. Darina, Mariasha, Nastyuha, привет, семья! Люблю вас! Okay, I'll ask you stuff. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen, with the C4 men, 500 meter gold medalists, world champions. There's hugs all around. They're pretty excited. Boys, you're world champions. Gold medalist, congratulations. Tell me about being a world champion. Thanks a lot. We are absolutely happy and very tired, uh, but happy. Несмотря на все наши медали, еще не было у нас золотой медали на C4, 500 метров. Правда, мы счастливы. Хорошая гонка. Спасибо всем спортсменам и болельщики, мы вас любим! Well, I think Ivan should...